Because later, do you know what I mean? I know. You tend to be too nice to meet you. Yeah. So you've invited us to the Smith with Baths. Uh, yeah. So what can you tell us about the history of this place? Okay, it uh, opened in 1933. So it's about 80 years old at the moment. Um, it was a uh, Baths in the summer time and a dance hall concert venue in the winter time, two seasons. Um, but over the years it's had many uses. Um, downstairs, for instance, from the air out shelter at the morgue. Um, we've had many famous bands here, Beatles, The Stones, The Who, um, Tom Cooper, you name it. So it's got a fair bit of history. Yeah. So you've had some experiences here then? Uh, yeah, I've uh, been fortunate enough to invest at this place since 2008. Mm -hmm. um, the, the experiences that I've had there are It's a bit strange, isn't it? That a swimming bath that actually has an underground yeah. where it was a mark, and etc. Yeah. So you've had various teams in the building, I'm assuming so. Yep, yeah. we've yeah. had quite a few teams. Yeah. Yeah. Have they ever come back with any evidence? What's you know made you think about what, what one of the most recent teams was a team from Australia. We came and did an investigation here, and they recorded some video footage in the underground subways, which is quite interesting because they're yeah. Aboriginal. So where do you want to take us next to show us about the activities? Okay, probably the best place is downstairs in the subway. Cool, let's go. Cool. So where you brought us to now? Okay, we're actually down the subway now. Uh, this is one of the small rooms of the subway area. I'm not sure if it's original purpose, but at the moment it's just used as a bit of a story. Uh, okay. Uh, there's been some activity down here? Yeah, this is one of their more active rooms. In that corner there especially, we get a lot of reports of shadows and figures being seen there. Mm -hmm. um, the, we have two men who chase each other in there, and some kind of argument goes on between them. Right. We're not quite sure what the argument's about or, or anything like that. And we also believe that it was used for like, illegal gambling gambling purposes as well. Okay. Um, on other investigations we've had a lot of activity with regards to tables, if you've had glasses thrown off the, the table, people have had physical things happen to them as well. Mm -hmm. Cool, Sam. Uh, I believe that there's another location down here where you want to show us. Yeah, that's yeah, so cool. So you've got us to tell them all. So what activity goes off down here? Again, the activity in here varies. Um, we do have presence of a male in here. Um, who, from descriptions that we've been given by various mediums that have visited here, his appearance is really scruffy. Mm -hmm. um, it's believed that he was linked to some form of, of secrecy. Some form of secrecy. Um, he doesn't like people coming in this room particularly. Uh, we've had Full apparition scene in here where figures have appeared in front of people. Um, the back part, we've had a lot of people hearing voices over there. Mm. Um, things have been thrown from over there as well. So yeah. Hopefully, something happens on the night. I believe there's just one more bit down yeah. here for us to show us. Yeah. Do you want to lead the way? Okay, so we're going to show you the back part of the subway. Um, 
Right, so where are we, are we now? Now this is just a part of the subway system, just another small story as you see, it's our metal store at the moment. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's all connected to the main grid of the subway. Yeah, so there's something about the fire training service, there's something about what's been down here during the training sessions and they got a bit spooked. Um, when we've had the fire training out here, what they do is that they turn all the lights off so it's pitch black and fill it with smoke. Mm -hmm. So the new trainees have got an ideal situation to train in. And we get a lot of reports from them that they say that they've heard or seen children down here. Oh, okay. And obviously because it's public building, children wouldn't be allowed down here. And these firemen won't come back to, to do these training sessions? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have some people that refuse to come back in. They have things that they've experienced, but it's it, is, it is mainly children. Yeah. Well, hopefully we can capture some, some evidence of this. Because we have contractors at the moment who won't come down. We've got a list of contractors who won't come and work there. Oh, okay. uh, one of the interesting stories was in, in this exact spot, one of the contractors was cutting a length of pipe and it's pity. He was working on his own. Stopped sawing, looked up through that little square window, saw a little boy looking at him Jesus. and refused to come back. God, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just take a five second snippet of uh, that one. Go. Right, so you've brought us to this extremely warm Place. What exactly is it? This is the uh, small door subway, which is a, a larger extension to the main subway. This was actually built in 1967. Oh, okay. So is there some activity for what happens there? Yeah, this is uh, one of our, uh, again, a quite active area of the building. Mm -hmm. um, one of the spirits that we, we know is here is a gentleman. Right. It's believed to be a butch spy who was working okay. with the Germans. Okay. So we've been able to find out through various mediums and sciences. Mm -hmm. um, not a particularly nice person. On previous investigations, we've had people where they've physically been punched by him in the stomach, and it's literally where people have heard somebody run, and then somebody's gone straight over. Um, a very interesting bit of phenomena that I personally saw was in the public corridor there, in the pitch black, no one was up there, we saw one blue foot coming towards us. <laughs> That's pretty odd. So, because of what you do through the day, do you have staff who actually experience things? Yeah, we do, yeah. Um, it has become a, a bit of a norm mm. to staff, right. especially with the children. Quite a few yeah. lady staff see uh, girls running around. Right. There is a prominent little spirit that runs around called Emma, and she's about right. age right. age, right. and she does show herself quite a bit right. to, um, to people, and has got a, a kind of Association with the girls that come down here. Nice. Doesn't mean that they're not free to take by it, but they right. are kind of used okay. down there. We'll be pretty free, yeah. So, where do you want to take us next? Okay, we'll have a look in the sauna if you like. Yeah, that's fine, cool. Right, so where have you brought us to now? Okay, this is the uh, sauna suite. Right, okay, so uh, what goes off here? Okay, uh, perhaps one of the oldest stories that we got about the building was uh, many years ago, probably about 20 years now, uh, we had a, a ladies only morning. Uh, there was a lady sitting on one of the lounges all by herself reading a magazine, a little bit bored, nobody else had been in all day. Uh, and then she saw another lady walk in with a, an orange towel around her, walk straight past her. The lady said, good morning, no reply. Mm. The lady walked straight into the sauna, sat down. And so the lady thought, right, I've got somebody to go and have a chat with you now. So she got up, walked in the sauna, and when she got in there, there was nobody there. Pretty thing. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. But the, the interesting fact was the fact that she wore an orange towel. Mm. Um, and 20 years prior to that, orange towels were part of the uh, the higher towel system that used to be here. So they used to give all sorts of the customers an orange towel. Cool, yeah. So whether that ties in or not, who knows? Oh, cool, yeah. So have you had hot spots, cold spots, and stuff like that? I know it's generally warm in here, but you know, have people experienced anything in that? Thingy, in that nature? Sometimes in the toilet area mm -hmm. it is particularly cold for some right. reasons and other times it is like a quite a normal heat so right, cool. Which would you say is the most active place? I'd say downstairs. Yeah, downstairs yeah. I believe. Downstairs. Uh, I believe there's one more bit is the upstairs balcony. Yeah. 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 Cool.
Okay, this is the uh, main hall park here. Right, cool. So, is there activity on home, home here? Yeah, yeah, we've, um, when we lock up on the building, sometimes um, in the nights you can hear kids running around and you lock the door up and you think, I've got somebody there uh, come back up, it's now going to be about it. We've got the chair over there. Refuses to stay in the upright position. Oh, yeah. and, uh, people have sat in it and actually got burn marks on their arms. Alright, that's from Dave. That's pretty that's strange, isn't it? It's weird. Have you got a lot to share about this? First time? No, I'm not. I'm just like, I'm not sure. Cool, yeah. Nice one. It's been recording.
felt drawn to an area on the other side of the one of the dark rooms there that we can't get into. We've come in here now. When, as um, Dave and Lee and you guys were doing a walk around, we spent some time quiet, um, just spent some time thinking. Um, um, and you actually saw picked up on thinking. something, and there's two brown doors somewhere in the building, and it had one of them radiators there. Now Andrew's just pointed that out, them radiators are there. So there's so, one somewhere in the building. So if, but when we get to that room... Yeah, I'll know, it's still in the head now. You know, because you've actually yeah. seen that in your mind. Now, just for argument's sake, we could just be saying that, but you were actually with us when we spent some time in our own and you heard what we were discussing, so nothing really significant at the moment. We just know that they're the radiators that you saw, and obviously they are here yeah. in the building somewhere. So. <coughs> If it wasn't the key that I would draw to it, actually, on the side of that wall, like something can't go in there, so it doesn't matter. Really. There is a kind of area that would like to see the lights on there. <laughs> because there's, 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 there's no floor in there, so... Oh, is there not? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Does anybody else feel like they want to go in there? Alcohol deals with the back of the tunnel. I don't really feel like I need anybody to come in there. I don't feel like I need anybody to come in there. Yeah, else drawn into that room. I need to get out of this room. I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Open <coughs> up like a double door. Yeah, if you can just walk straight in. Was the journey glass in the door? Not that. It's just like a shape, like a shape. Not sure. Is it what I said? I was still there. Corridor. There'd be a door there. Then the, one of them radiators, then another door. And it, what I've seen, gone into that other door. Not the first one, the second one, but there's a radiator. One of, one of them radiators in between the two doors. Well, you said you'll know it when we get to it. Mm. So, those radiators were upstairs in an area. Which side of the building? This side. Which is, if you look the other outside, side that where we were, from where we were? More or less above us right now. So from right hand side of the building, yeah. that's where I got shown then too. Yeah. So the room has been altered a lot now, so when you'll see this... We're yeah, on the corridor. Yeah. But what, we, we'll, what we'll you're know saying when is when it's going to change around. Yeah. Because there's lots of radiators like that in the building. So. Well hopefully, having hopefully. been shown that, you will Now I can see it again, on all the brown doors, that are one there, and another one, and it's the second one. So I'll know when we get there. Yeah, no, because of the layout of the corridor. Mm. When you're saying brain door, probably that's not. Like no, they're not, yeah. not like that. No, it's no, one layer, radiator, and another door there. Sensitive thing don't work on the living. So if I was with the pain in the neck. Are you being funny? No, I'm serious. That's where I've got pain. I'm in a car accident. Oh right, do I pick up on other people's yeah. pain? Mm. You can do. Right. So 
so I'm really bad pain in that arm, so I thought I'll just, just fart my chest. No, 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 that's fine, you can do. I, I haven't so far, but you can do. I think that's attached, you've just pulled it out. Right, we're a fuzzy ball. <laughs> so, how do you feel, Mark? Alright. Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah. Right. Moving on. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
we know that they're not brothers. Okay. Uh, that's one of the ways that we work. We know where everybody is at any given time. Yeah, but while you've been doing the walk around, we've ventured outside, we've ventured into the toilet, we've not ventured far as you'll as your, yeah. um, verify. But what we will do when we go back upstairs, we'll say to them, did you go into the reception area because we only put steps to brothers? Did you manage like, did you manage to get it on camera with you? Well, no, did you yeah. What's that? Footsteps. It would have picked it up if it were. It's yeah. pretty sensitive, this. We've got it on camera anyway. We're getting a lot of chest pain. Yeah, you're getting chest pain. <coughs> Can you describe it? Is it like a crushing pain, or is it a stabbing pain, or is it an ache? Shall we join the video now and see whether that comes back if it comes back again?
Now I can just see that there's a man and he's got a poor excuse. You know, really poor light. Mm. It's not getting much, much light at all.
but I'm getting a little bit breathless now. The air, I did say as we're walking in, the air is really close in here and it is really warm, um, which for me is lovely. I'm not uncomfortable in a warm environment at all. But as I'm talking, I'm starting to feel like I'm getting a little bit breathless. And I'm used to talking, that doesn't happen very often. I don't get breathless from talking. But I'm starting to feel uh, quite close, a little bit shaky. Um, but it's not like, you know, in the other rooms where I said the air's quite thick, I'm feeling the thickness, not anything in particular. I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling quite close at the moment. Now, that could be environmental because it is really close to <coughs> me. There is no air in this bit at the moment, but I feel breathless. I feel like I want to take a really deep breath and get my breath, but I'm struggling a bit at the minute. I think the most important things are down, are down in this bit what we need to concentrate on. So if you want to go for a fast breather and come back down, take some pictures. Shh, 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 shh. I heard footsteps walking down this corridor where we've come from as if it was coming towards us. Obviously we've come here to see whether there was anybody here. The only person left in the building is Dave, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, if I shouted out, Dave would answer me. Yeah. He's not down here at the moment. When we get back upstairs, we'll, we'll verify that again. But I definitely heard somebody walking down this corridor as if they were coming towards yeah, us. And, and you actually, yeah, yeah you indicated down. that you could hear it as well. So let's take a breather, let's go upstairs. I'm not getting over excited. Oh no, I'm, right. I'm just saying. <laughs> Are you hot? Chat. You're too hot, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, then call, call that now in five minutes. Black hair up to there and she's round into that end room on the left. 
Can we get in there? We can't get in there. We can. <coughs> You want to say something without giving too much away. <laughs> Take your mind back. Don't think of it as it is now. Go back. I can't, I can't, no. I can't read you anything. I know. Go I can back. See, it's just playing it back in my head. I'm stood there and she's run past that chunky radiator and shot into that door. Right. Ask what's in there. Yeah, but it won't always be a canteen. It may not always be a canteen. Ask. Why should I have in there? Oh, she's running for some help. Something. She's running there for some help for some help. I don't know what's in there, but obviously it must have been something important that we're in there, but she's gone in there for help. See, if I had to describe what I've got, and, and I don't know whether this is just because purely those radiators take me back to school. Those radiators take me completely back to school. Mm. Um, and the only thing I, I see at the moment is. is I mean, I can see it, I can just visualise it, just, it's just like a freeze frame and she's there, just running and all that, she's just like that, just about to go into the door. Describe the door. Well, that's not original door. No. But it's, it's a solid wooden door. Describe the handle. It's a round one. Right. She's gone. Okay. And she's shut in, but there's panelling. There might have been some glass at all, I'm not sure if it's... There's some fancy panel in there. Okay, ask why fancy panel in? Why is it not just a plain window? Why has it got fancy panel on there? Does that mean something? Does that represent that it was an important place? It's not a because I keep seeing school. Uh, I'm, oh, oh, I'm good. There's something written on the door, okay. and it's glass top, fancy panel top, the glass is frosted, and there's sweat, a plaque on the glass. Right. Okay. Ask. Ask what's on there, and so the first thing that comes in here. Can I just, what, can I search the view before I accept it? Yeah. Or do you want to move up to the next door? <coughs> Can we go in, into there? No, no, I don't know the cabin. Would it make any difference if you actually... Right, you might need to have the right track. Stand, yeah, go stand. through the door. But forget school. Right, because it, we're not allowed in there. Forget school. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't matter that it's not an original door. Yeah, because you can't get in there. Yeah. Sometimes if you just feel and you ask what's behind it, you get images coming through for the feeling it. Are you right or left handed? Well, I've got my hand as if I'll grab it handle. Just like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
my right left hand. Right. Take your left hand off and hold, hold it with your right hand. No angle, it's the other way around, isn't it? If you give with your right hand, you receive with your left, other way around. Some sort of office, because I can see a desk. That corner. And some wooden cabinets like attached to the wall across this bit here. Mm. See, I wanted to say office, but as I say, I'm saying that it takes me back to being at school, and when she said she ran in from there, I'm thinking like headmaster's office, because I'm I just because these radiators take me back to when I was at school. This is, I think, this is an association. But when you, when you said what's in, you know, I, I did get office. No, there's a lot of wood in there, and I know there's cabinets in there, and there's again, it's a green carpet, perhaps not on the floor. There's a desk in that corner. Step to right. Like your left. No, all the way. Your left. Your right. Because <laughs> we just we front of that toilet, we just toilet to that door. It just I cause a shimmer. Right inside the door frame. about me, it was like a big white long dress, small, small. When long. he was describing that earlier on in the big room, did he actually describe that she was wearing white? That's no, right. I don't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't mention. Right, okay. The only reason I'm asking so that is because uh, when he described this girl, I'd seen her dressed in white, but I didn't know whether that was because it, yeah, that's how he described her. Right, okay. I've not actually seen her, but as you described her, I've not seen her dressed in white. Not, not seen her face. Not seen, seen her face. Yeah, but I've seen her face. See what he's taking that way. So we'll just see what. 
responsibility is taken in that way. Did you get anything, Mark? Yeah. Um, Feel like all the wounds. Yeah. Yeah. That, that could um, collaborate what you're saying. She you said she was already seen the running there and asked for help. <coughs> Shall we walk a bit further? We can't go further. Can you not? No. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Canal. I can not see her. She's just, she just stood there ready to burst straight from the road. Shall we try and figure out where she's come from? Because you what said you saw, her, you saw her run past. So why don't we, she came from behind you, why don't we head back a little bit further and see whether we can ask and find out where she came from or see if you can pick up on anything else. I've got four minutes left on camera. Just stop your minutes up. Wait. It's alright, next week. So you've, you've just you stopped a minute that. and just stopped and looked at your hand. Why, why have you looked at your hand? I have a clue. Because it just felt like it were hurting straight across there and there were a line and it's just fading you, away. You can see just va vaguely a line. It was actually more prominent, a line going across. What's actually faded at the moment is what looks like chain marks, like if you were holding onto a chain really, really tight, little, like, it, links it, it of chain. It was burning. That's, it, 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 I don't know, it was just stinging, burning, and it's straight across there. No. I haven't had my hands no. on it. But you've actually got, I mean, that's. And you're not left handed? No. Right handed. Right, okay. We'll ask for verification later whether that's actually something that happens in this area. So Action. Well, we've just come back from his actual walk round investigation, seeing what his uh, sensitives can pick up, and it uh, looks like one of our sensitives is actually. Uh, been attacked. It's got a couple of scratch marks on her back, which I only just realised. As you can see, it's two here, and there's one coming down, and one coming down here. Now, I've actually been doing the filming on this, and I've not seen nobody scratch her or. Nobody scratched me, but. Yeah, I'm back round again. What? I've not seen nobody come near or scratch her or anything. Nobody's actually scratched me. But I did say when you when you first noticed them, Dave, you said I've been scratching myself, and I said I don't think so. What might be worth looking at is when we actually come back to reviewing the footage, looking out to see whether I was actually stood scratching my back. 